this a regular show and that's not even a show But I made some bonus shit, what do I call those episodes? It's a nothing more show It's a nothing more show and it's starting right now Hey everyone, Chris here, uh, host of the Not Even a Show, and for the time being, host of the Nothing More Show, but not next week because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of pulling double duty. It's funny, obviously, to say double duty and think of the duty aspect of that, but I hate doing it, and I got a new host coming in next week. It will not be St. Paul. If you've been following along, I had an intern named St. Patty who tried to kill me, and then I fired him and hired a replacement, St. Peter, who turned out to be St. Patty in disguise. He tried to kill me. I fired him, and I hired St. Paul, who had glasses, but it turns out you take the glasses off, and it was St. Peter, who's actually St. Patty. And so the moral of the story is do not hire someone who has a sane in their name. And that's why next week I'll be introducing the new uh, host, Insane Izzy. And this guy's fucked up. He's so fucked, man. He's fucking... Ha- now, he always has a gun with him. He's, he's a wild guy. But anyways, for this week, we've got a wild episode for you. As Tech Head Terry calls Tom Gully, we give a call to a new host, Jazz McKay, as well. But first... Let's check back in with Jack Alexander as we continue to call him and demand that he shaves his mustache as a joke, obviously. It couldn't be serious. That would be a crime. Check it out. Oh, boy. I'm probably going to regret this, but let's see what we've got on the phone, shall we? Uh... Where are we? Okay. Area code uh, 208. You're on the air. Are you afraid we'll see your lip quivering if you uh, shave? Okay. Next, uh, 513. I agree with that last caller. (laughs) Yeah, I thought you would. Okay. 649. Yeah, hey, Mr. Alexander. I'm just giving you a call to try to offset some of these, you know, crazy leftists calling in pie from their mom's basement. But uh, I enjoy your program very much. I wanted to get your opinion on something to do with these impeachment hearings. Yeah. Do you agree that it's important to cut it first? What do you mean, cut it first? I mean, do you think it's important to cut your mustache with scissors before shaving it? Oh, uh, boy. The mustache is staying. Unless you want to give me a thousand bucks. You know, at some at some stage, you know, some of these guys and, and look, yeah, look, I know they're trolls. They're they're in their mother's basement. But hey, you know, they they, they want to put me in the same class, you know, to be worthy of the same sort of harassment they get. They give the likes of Sean Hannity and others a. Hey, I'll take that as a compliment all day long. Jazz McKay was fired from radio years back for a racist social media post, but some dipshit radio station hired him again, so now he's got a show, and we've got to prank his dumb ass. Check it out. It's amazing! Look at what Donald Trump can do! He not only makes America great again, but he makes metal great again! Let's go to the phones. Chris, who do we have standing by? We have Jason standing by. Jason. Hey, Jason. Make America great again. Welcome to the Jazz McKay Show. How are you, brother? Oh, hell yeah, Jazz. I love the toque. I love that song. I haven't heard that song before either. That's a good one, baby. You've never heard? You've never heard Enter Sandman from Metallica? Oh, my God. No, I mean the one... I mean, oh, the that with all the Donald Trump things. The, the version that's, that that's one. what I mean. I've heard the, I've heard the original. Well, we've got that for you right here on the Jazz McKay show exclusively, Jason. So uh, God bless you, brother. You guys, you're, you're fantastic. I love your love of the president. And it's like what the Democrats don't see and what other people can't see. It's like we love our president. Our president is our God. We will uh, follow him no matter what he does. We don't really care particularly what it is that he's saying. We uh, idolize him. In a way, we look up to him in a way like he is a god. Mm, yeah, not really, but go ahead. 
What? Sorry, you don't? I mean, you. You're no, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for your que- I'm waiting for your cre- uh, your cre- 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 uh, your question. Uh, Chris told me you had a question. That wasn't a question. That was my a question, statement. I guess my question is, if you had the opportunity, mm-hmm. would you suck shit? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of saw that one coming there, Jason. That was a small timer right there. That was a small timer. But we smelled you a mile away, buddy. God bless America. God bless America. And I just want to say, Jason, you're going to have to try harder next time, okay? You're just going to have to try harder next time. I could smell you. I could smell you over the phone lines. I could smell you. Before I even took the call, I could smell you. It's a a brain dead lip. What is it? You you smell rancid. You brain dead liberals. You have a, I don't know. It's a rancid sort of a rotten egg kind of a smell about you. You just have this, you secrete this. Well, I mean, you're brain dead. So that's probably what I'm smelling is the dead brain inside as it, as it rots and it starts to mold and all of that. And you're welcome to call back some other time and try it again and, you know, give it another shot. But I would suggest using some Febreze. Douse yourself in Febreze in order to sort of maybe, uh, mask or, or, or maybe, I don't know, maybe Glade, maybe Glade would work. Uh, try that because we can smell you through, through the phones. Tech head Terry found a new friend named Tony Bruno on the main episode. And so on this episode, he decided to call his old pal, Tom Gully and gloat about his newfound friendship with Mr. Bruno. Check it out. Hey there, everybody. What's going on? What's hip? What's hot? What's happening? What's shaking for your hump day? You're on the Tom Gully Show. You're on the air. Hi, Tom. It's your former best friend, Terry. Hey, Terry. You you said uh, something last time about not calling. Well, I changed my mind. I did want Uh, to to tell you, though. Yeah, well, well, we we didn't change our mind. Nobody wants to hear from you. You're kind of self-important. And you're deluding yourself into thinking I want anything to do with you. Well, Tony Bruno thinks I'm cool, and he likes me, and he likes my tech talk. And he Who's Tony me and Bruno? He my... Who's Tony Bruno? Tony Bruno, he's my new best friend, and he's nice yeah. to me, unlike you. No, no, but who so. is he? What has he done? I've never heard heard of him before. He is a radio show. Oh, I remember. I remember. We, we were not going to ever talk to you again. That guy's a douchebag. I'm sorry, he just is. Okay. Yeah, you're on the Tom Gully Show. You're on the air. He'll never be the host to Tony Bruno is. Tony Br- you No, I won't Tony because Bruno he talks talk. to you and I don't. There you go. But, uh, but, uh, but, uh. You'll never be the host that Tony Bruno is. Uh, Matthew Barnett says, Terry needs to go home. You'll never be the host that Tony Bruno is. I hope not. Yeah, we used to, we syndicated Tony on a sports station that I was on. I've never heard heard of him before. And he was so bad, I've never heard heard of him before. So anyway, you'll never be the host that Tony Bruno is. (laughs) <laughs> Hi and welcome to Tom Gully Show. You're on the air. I don't want to talk to you. Bye. Okay, bye. So, 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 so you call into the show to say that you didn't want to talk to somebody. Man, this, what is this guy, three years old? I don't want to talk to you. I've called you three times today, but I don't want to talk to you. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're a patron, I love you. And if you're a non-patron, that means I put this episode up for free. And that's because I like it a lot. And because I want you to see what you're missing if you don't, if you're not a patron. But if you can't afford it, I don't mind. But if you can, 
come on over and check it out. We got about 71 episodes of this damn thing. And next week, we're going to have Insane Izzy, and he's nuts. He has a gun. <laughs> he always has a gun, and he's fully loaded, he it says, at all times. Safety never on. It's a thing from Trailer Park Boys, he tells me. I've never seen it, but the guy's fucking psycho. He's got one eye. See you later. Bye.